The end of days is upon us as the premiere of American Horror Story Apocalypse is finally here. But is this season a new beginning for the series or is it just a bomb? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Now for months there's been conspiracies and theories of what this season has to offer, but the wait is finally over and we now have episode 1 of American Horror Story Apocalypse. Now I am issuing a spoiler warning, so if you haven't watched the episode yet, stop right now, go and watch it, and then come back and see me. Now as I've said in my previous videos, I've gone into this season with little to no expectations. I guess you could say low expectations. But this season is not messing around. In the first five minutes I had genuine chills as the sirens were blaring across the city as it was being evacuated. We start off with Leslie Grossman's character, who again is married to Billy Eichner just like in Cult, but it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing much more of Billy Eichner. The first thing that I was pleased to see is that they weren't relying on the crossover between Murder House and Coven. I was really hoping they wouldn't take this crossover business too seriously. I was hoping they wouldn't show the Coven and the Murder House and match them all together. Luckily we've got this whole brand new story and it looks like they're going to weave in those two seasons along the way, which I like. Because one of the biggest criticisms they faced was they would rely too much on these well-known characters, but they haven't done that yet. We have seen in the promos that the Coven girls are coming through those gates to the compound at some point, but no sign of them yet. Another thing I'm loving in this season is the aesthetics and the cinematography. It goes from this really drab grey nuclear wasteland to the rich warm yellows and reds of the compound. I really like the way Ryan Murphy does this as it's already starting to set a tone for the season as a whole. And I thought the horses and gas masks was a nice touch. Going back to another one of the promos, Sarah Paulson's bingo promo does make a lot more sense now, picking these special few to create this new world. And speaking of which, Miss Vemble, I think she goes by, is one of my favourite Sarah Paulson characters already. I really love the calm intensity she has to her dialogue and it's so different to her characters before which she obviously needs to do because I think she's going to be playing a few characters this season so it's nice to be able to differentiate them. Going back to Leslie Grossman's character though I'm already not a big fan. She provides a comic relief yet we already have Joan Collins character for that and she does a great job and it just makes Leslie's character annoying and really pointless. Now let's talk a bit about pacing. It's a brave move to do such large time jumps in a short amount of time, especially in the first episode. But similar to shows like Black Mirror, having us jump in time and have us imagine what it'd be like to be stuck in that situation for such a long time is quite horrific in itself. Cody Fern's Michael Langdon character made an appearance right at the end and I am curious to see his story unfold. Especially how they're going to weave the Murder House characters into this story. I don't know if this big twist Ryan Murphy's talking about is it's going to be a flashback to show how this all came to be from that point of view. I find it hard to come up with an explanation how these current characters could end up in the murder house other than the murder house just being seen in flashbacks. But I must say my curiosity is piqued and I know it's famous last words but so far I'm actually loving this season. But I almost forgot the best part. They brought back the original opening theme song plus they mixed it in with the opening titles of Coven and Murder House. Loved it. But what did you guys think of the first episode of Apocalypse? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments and I'm looking forward to hear what you have to say. But until next time, thanks so much for hanging out and if you had a good time then spank that like button. And if you subscribe during this video then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers and that is all.